Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows NT 5.0 build 1877 in VirtualBox or VMware. This is part of the Beta 1 series, and this has been requested so many times that I do NT 5.0, and I finally got it to work after um, doing a couple tests. My apologies for not uploading for the past week. Um, I've been having a lot of stuff going on and um, so hopefully I can get back into doing my uploads um, regularly again so let's go ahead and get straight into the tutorial so first you're going to need to install Windows NT 4.0 and you can uh, check my video tutorial on how to install it I have an annotation right now and I'll also have a link in the description and you see that NT is running right here in the background. So now what we need to do is I'm going to confirm here that we're running Microsoft Windows NT 4.0 and the build is 1381 and service pack 1. So what we need to do now is insert the ISO which if I go to choose I go to NT this will be in a different thing for you. Or maybe it's not in beta 1. I think it's beta 2. My bad. 1877. And then this screen will pop up. Just hit yes. And then hit upgrade to Windows NT 5.0. Hit next. Accept the license agreement. Next. Hit next again. It'll copy the files. And now you'll restart, and you're going to want to remove the ISO. Hit finish to restart it automatically. And this hopefully should have the startup and shutdown sound. I don't know if it has the exact shutdown sound as it has. Make sure you select uh, NT 5.0 setup, hit enter, or just let it count down. I'm not sure if it's the shutdown sound that is with NT 5.0 or I think it still might be the 4.0 shutdown I'm not sure I'm pretty sure it's 4.0 shutdown but once this comes up it should come up with a message that says insert the disk yep so you want to put that disk back in right there hit enter it's going to examine the disks and then it'll ask for a reboot you're gonna to want to remove this yet again hit enter it'll reboot the machine then select the setup phase again and it will load and it will come to a screen I believe it'll do some more it'll ask you to put the disk back in and that's exactly what you need to do put the disk back in the drive hit enter it's going to examine the disk once more and I believe it'll copy files now yep it's gonna copy the files so this shouldn't take too long it'll just go through the process as normal as lots of the OS's do and then once it is finished I believe it will ask us for another restart so it'll finish it'll ask for a reboot this is where you want to remove the disk yet again Hit enter to restart. It's going to load up, and there you see the boot screen of NT 5.0 Beta 2. I was mistaken on that. It's part of the Beta 2 series. And then it will ask to insert the disk yet again do that click OK it's going to prepare the setup now it's going to install some uh, other files onto here in order for NT 5.0 to work which can take some time so just let it sit I'll be back with you guys in a second once it's done with that it will do a little um, examination there now it's going to copy more files and install more stuff 
and continue with the upgrade. Now it's going to copy more files. So the steps here says copy, copy files, configure your computer, save your configuration, and remove temporary files. So it'll go through and do all that. Apologize, that was my phone. Um, when this comes up, it says the date and time um, appear to be inaccurate because this is an evaluation of Windows NT. Just hit OK and it says it will give you the opportunity to change the date and time. You don't have to change the date and time. I always thought you had to do that for this, but I guess you don't because it works without that. And I guess I have my time zone set to something different, but oh well. We'll hit OK. Now it's going to save configuration and remove temporary files and then it's finished and now this should be the last time you have to remove the disk. So remove it and go ahead and restart. And it's going to start up Windows NT 5.0. And when we log in, we should be able to hear the startup sound. Let's see. Yes, it worked. Okay. So there we go. NT is installed. And if we go and right click on my computer and hit properties, System version is Microsoft Windows NT 5.0, build 1877. So that means it has worked. And we have audio. And I believe we go to settings, control panel. And we go to sounds. And exit windows. We'll see if it's, I believe this is the NT 4.0. Yep, it's NT 4.0 based uh, log off sound. So um, that's it for that. And if sometimes this could work, if you go to the web browser, okay, I have an internet connection. So some of you may have it, some of you may not. It just kind of depends. So there you go, guys. This is a highly requested video that a lot of people are asking for. I can do more builds of this in the future, like if you want like a beta 1 or beta 3 possibly, or any other builds of 5.0, I can try my best to do so. I've been trying to do more beta 2 builds, but they have not been working because of corrupt files and ISOs. But um, for now, this is a tutorial on how to install NT Windows NT 5.0 build 1877. This is part of beta 2. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if it helped you guys out. Comment ideas down below and more operating systems you want me to cover. Um, share the video as well because this one was a very, very highly requested one. And I'm sure a lot of people were probably looking for this one. So please, please share it so that um, the viewers that were looking for NT 5.0 can see it. And also, don't forget to subscribe more videos uh, for more videos. And. Um, we're semi getting close to 2,000 subs. Not quite there. I think we're at like 1,600 right now. Getting close to maybe 1,700, but we're getting closer to 2,000 subs. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.